Okay, so everyone recognizes this computer tower. It is the HP Pavilion Media Center PC. I made two videos on it. The first one was checking it out and reviewing the specs. The second one was about a new installation of Windows XP Media Center Edition. And in the second video, you guys were actually able to hear the heatsink fan spin up. Like, it went to maximum speed and it was so friggin' loud. This computer is probably louder than its big brother over there. Right now, this one is calm. It's not at maximum speed, it's just calm. Well, it's silent, but not for long. Watch what happens. I'm going to play this little music clip. Okay, and I'm going to drag the window around. And did you guys see what happened there for a second? Like how it just froze for that split second? That's what I'm getting really sick and tired about. No matter what I do, if I'm trying to make an on-screen video, like a desktop video, for um, how-to videos, I don't want this computer doing that. Heck, when it freezes up, it will actually show it in the video. If I'm trying to watch a movie on this computer, and when the fans kick in, it freezes for a split second until they reach maximum speed. And when they slow down, the music freezes again until the fans are completely slowed down. That's what I get really sick and tired about. I can't even talk to people on Skype for that long because I get so annoyed with the friggin' heatsink fan constantly spinning up and freezing the conversation. So, in that second video, when the fans start to spin up in the pavilion computer, um, a lot of people recommended me to use SpeedFan. Now, I've used SpeedFan many times in the past. I've used it on my Acer Aspire 5050 laptop. I've used it on the Toshiba Satellite M60, the Toshiba Satellite A60. Nothing happened. Okay, so I'm going to do this again and watch this. You guys will hear it freeze for a split second. That's what happens right there. Every time, it just does that and it annoys the crap out of me. So, I'm going to put an end to that right now. And I'm going to say this. This is the very first time that this goddamn program actually worked on one of my computers. I'm not kidding you. This is the first tower that's actually compatible with this program or first computer in general that I own. So I'm gonna turn on the whoops magnifier so that way you guys can see what's happening. Cause this camera does not have autofocus on it. Which adds insult to injury. Come on you asshole. There we go. Now you guys see those flames right there. They look like flames. Well, that's indicating that it is piping hot. Um, it says that the fans are at 2048, oh, 910 RPM. Fan number two, which is the processor fan, is at 2318. So I believe it's 2318 RPMs. That's pretty fast. I'm pretty sure if you put your pinky finger in there, He'll nod off. 
So, even if those two fans were spinning at high speed, those flames don't go away. They still remain. If I turn it down to 85%, the flames are still there, and it doesn't even affect the computer. I can use it normally. So, in reality, there is absolutely no need for the fans to spin up like that. I, I can run a screensaver program, and the fans won't. Like, it, it doesn't lag or anything. It's fine. So, let's get those fans going again. I'm going to have to do... Oh, there we go. And it's not only that, whenever the fans speed, like, spin up, and if I'm moving the mouse, the mouse actually freezes for a split second. Like, everything freezes. So I'm going to stop that right now. Listen to this. Other one. Wow, really quiet. Now let's bump it up to 100%. And let's drop it back down to 85. Because that's as low as I'm going to go get it to go. And do the same for fan number one. And that's it. So, they're a lot slower now. Um, it's giving me the wrong, wrong um, message up here. It says that the fans are going at 3,366 RPM. Fan number one is going at 1,412 RPM. That's kind of stupid. It's not giving me accurate ratings here. So, whoops. Show the magic, what the hell is that? Oh. CPU zero and CPU one. Are you telling me that there's two CPUs in this computer? Because it it shows right there. CPU 0 and CPU 1. I don't know if this is a dual core computer or something like that. All I know is it's a Intel Pentium 4 HyperThread CPU. Okay, well, let's take a look at task manager and see what it is. CPU usage. Well, the only things that are in here is... Oh, I think there is two CPUs. I'm not sure. CPU history. Um... Options, file. I don't know, but I'm assuming that there's two CPUs in this computer. I, I'm not sure, but the speed fan is telling me that there is CPU 1 and CPU 2. It even shows on the CPU usage. There's one bar here, another bar here. There's two of them. Pretty weird. Interesting. Anyway, I'm going to be farting around this later just to check it out some more. And it is 3.30. So, have a nice day everybody. And uh, my next video will be about 
how to burn ISO files to CD or DVD because I've had a lot of people ask me that question and for those of you who have asked it's gonna happen so stay tuned <laughs>